Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a BMW, any BMW and you wonder what are the symptoms of bad eccentric shaft sensors. Stay with us guys and we'll explain what we see quite often here at the shop and we'll explain what, uh, uh, what causes the number one reason for that sensor to go bad, something that you can avoid. So make sure you stay until the end guys. If you need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from number two guys every single car we get at the shop we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you guys so let us explain what we have here this is a six cylinder engine on bmw 3 series but the same engine guys actually has been used in one series three series five series x1 x3 x5 you can find it even in BMW guys X4, uh, Z4, multiple, multiple BMWs. Usually on top of your valve cover, may look different depending on the engine. The hole like that towards the front will be the wire for the eccentric shaft sensor. And the sensor is right here. If you want to see how to remove and replace it, we have the video and I'll put the link in the description of the video below and also where you can get one from. But when those things fail guys, we will explain the number one reason why it fails. Make sure you stay with us. But when they fail, it actually, you have a valve tronic motor that actually, guys, uh, uh, turns, okay, the eccentric shaft and uh, adjusts the angle of the intake valves. And you have the vanos that actually can, uh, can adjust the angles as well. That sensor detects at what position that shaft is. This eccentric shaft, okay, right here. This is your eccentric shaft. And it tells that motor how much to go, stop, forward, backwards, okay, things like that. But if the sensor quits working, okay, uh, your car will not be able to adjust the valves or it may be reading the wrong information and have the valves open or close to the point that your car may not start or not have good compression as well guys so if it fails okay we uh, uh, often experience here at the shop car not starting car starting slow let's say you try from the fifth time and it finally starts it takes forever or when it's cold outside or the engine is cold it takes really long time to start or does not start at all guys Another thing, when the engine is hot, it may start easier, but when it's cold, you may not even start it at all, especially if it's colder outside. Uh, on a summer day, usually it may start, but it will take longer, guys. So those are some of the most common symptoms that we see. But why they fail? Number one reason for those things to fail is oil in the wiring harness. They're not supposed to be oil proof on this side, only on the bottom side, because they're practically uh, submerged in oil because you have oil in the valve uh, uh, in the cylinder head here all the time but if you have oil in the wires eventually that oil will make its way in the sensor and it will destroy it and the number one reason for that is this gasket right here when it fails it starts seeping oil in that sensor the more oil you seep it gets in the wires and destroys the sensor so even if you put a new sensor always replace that gasket otherwise okay you may end up buying a new one in a short time as well so Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.